I decided to come today because I've always been very interested in politics, but I feel like especially in this day and age, a lot of the political figures are male, and so having this event I think is so unique because you have a lot of female representation and where you're constantly being empowered by different women who made it is really inspiring and just really motivating for girls and girls that you need to just continue to pursue what you want to do. Your job to stand up and find your place and find your voice so that you change the conversation, you change the landscape, and it doesn't matter that you're Republican or Democrat or liberal or conservative. Basically, what you are is your women, and you can change that dynamic. The biggest lessons that I have been fortunate to gain through experience have come from failure. Failure is an opportunity to engage in deep introspection, to ask for feedback. It's an opportunity to further refine who you are, what you care about, and how you want to channel that. I decided to come today because I'm really passionate about girls in leadership. I've been through failure before. I ran for ASB and I didn't get it. But that failure made me want to do it again and keep going. So I came here to learn more about how I can do that. Honestly, I've never been in an environment like this before. And I've never felt the amount of confidence that I feel here. And I just feel like there's, there's a bond here that is so different from anything else. And it's amazing. special and they're so important to empower the women but also the youth because the girls that can attend this event are from the ninth grade to the 12th grade and reaching them at that age is so important because they can see that they are welcome in this environment and this community is accepting towards them and their voice does matter. I can choose how to move forward with my life. That's how I would say that you deal with any Big or small, is that you can always, always focus on what you can do and the decisions that you can make to move yourself in a positive way, to make progress for yourself, for your family, and to get yourself ahead. I think the most exciting part was listening to Lucy Flores. Like, I really liked her story and how, again, she overcame all those obstacles and how she's such a successful woman now, so it was very inspiring. I just think that we have to inspire more girls to have like, bigger goals and like not limit themselves and know that they can like achieve anything. I really liked what Congresswoman Amy Walter said about how sometimes women can't be their own worst enemy. So sometimes we stand in our way because we're afraid or we don't want to step on people. But how just to really get yourself out there and be confident in what you want to do. That was my main takeaway and I plan to use that even more in the future. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence in yourself and know that every single person in this room can make a difference. And don't be afraid to put yourself out there because people are gonna criticize you for no matter what you do and what you say, but as long as you believe, that's what the most important thing is. It's bittersweet that it's over, but I'm also excited to begin the next chapter of my life as I'm applying to college. So I'm excited to actually take what I've learned here and put that out into the world, like into the community. So while it's sad this is my last conference, I really just hope more girls are able to discover this. And I just want to thank the university and the political institute for this opportunity.